me about my um, altered composition books, how I use them, because guys, this is just a couple of the ones that I'm using like right now. Um, I, I use these for everything. Um, and so um, I wanted to show you a couple of these as to how I use them. And then I'm actually going to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be making one for my oldest granddaughter, she's seen um, mine tonight, and she begged for one, so guess what? She's getting one. So this one is one that, um, this one's an older one. Um, I am still journaling in it, so, and this one's more like my journal, and these all start off as these little composition books. I normally pick mine up from Dollar Tree, but um, during like the back to school sales, like at Walmart and stuff, you can get them for cheaper at Walmart than you can Dollar Tree. But right now I just picked these up from um, Dollar Tree. I normally keep about 10 of them on hand. But this one here, um, I've got some lace around it. I made some lace tabs, some washi tape. And this one is one that I've, uh, I just journal in this one. So I've got some my um, cards that I got for Christmas that I made into pockets. Um, I have done some, you know, some art stuff in here. Um, just all kinds of little stuff like that. I've got, you know, some of my calendar type stuff. Um, I've got a bunch more stuff out here. This is some more of the cards, some more of my art. Um, and so I just, it's kind of like a catch all this one is. So this one is just like whatever I want to put in it. And then you can see I've got the edges of the pages um, wrapped in washi tape. I enjoy doing that because I feel like it gives it a little stability. And then there's this one here. And I use this one mainly for my church notes. And so um, you can see I've got um, some tab dividers in there. And... Um, I've got a pocket, and so I've just kind of, um, I keep up with, like, church notes in here. And so that's what this is. And then this section I use for songs. Um, these sections right here are still blank. And then there's some more church notes. And then another pocket. So this one is, like, my church um, journal. This one is my, I call this one, like, my Etsy-type journal. Um, and you can see it's got the washi tape. I don't have any tabs on it, but these are like open Etsy orders in the front. And then, um, one of the things back here in the back is some different inventory that I have coming in. Um, and so I've got like pockets and tags. I've got a pocket here. I've got a double pocket there. Um, this is a pocket. This is something my granddaughter drew me tonight. Um, so I've just got, that's mainly like my Etsy one. And then this one is more my planner type journal, I guess. Um, again, I've got the washi tape on the edges. And guys, okay, it turned out looking okay right here. But I wasn't going to put anything there. But if you can kind of see in the background there, there's like some square... I sat it on my open ink and there was like ink stamps and you can kind of see it all over. I even have one on the back but I didn't bother to cover that one. So this one is more like my planner type um, journal. So these are the things that are upcoming that I've got to do like right now. And then I have like my calendar that I've just drawn out. Um, and so uh, my granddaughter was drawing in it tonight. 
So that's what this one is. Um, and again, this is just a couple of the ones that I'm currently working in right now. Um, because guys, I literally, I normally make myself at least one of these a month. Um, and I was using it like every month I would start a new one, but I don't do that now. I just, um, I use it until I'm pretty much, you know, filled it up and then I'll stick it on the shelf and just, um, grab another one. So let's go ahead and get started working on Lena's. And so, like I said, how it starts off is I start off using one of the composition books from Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever. Um, and I just, I grab a thing of the, um, what is it, the Jot glue sticks, because I'm not going to waste my good glue gluing these pages down. So what I try to do is I will just, um, like if I'm sitting down and, you know, just with my husband watching TV or something, I'll just have a couple of these near me and I'll start doing this part of it because these pages are really thin and I enjoy being able to journal on mine, do draw, um, draw paint, that kind of stuff. So I'll take and I glue two pages together. And so I just go like around the edge, the outer edge, because I want to make sure I get it. And then I'll just do a couple like little streaks and then I just close it over it. And that's what I do throughout the entire book. I'll just flip over, then skip that page because it's going to be glued down. And then I'll glue along this edge, this edge here, and then right there. And then I'll just put, you know, some stuff down in it. And I'll just do this throughout the entire book. And uh, like I said, I'll have several of them that I've already done that to just because I know that I am going to be, I know that I'll be using them. Well, I'll show you right now. How many do I have? I have, these are, these are ones that I have. So let's see, I thought I had more than that. Maybe not. Maybe that's all I bought. Maybe that's all I have right now. So I have, what is that? Five plus the one I've already got prepped for Lena. So those are the one, that's what I'm working in now. And so what I've done is I've already kind of pre-cut and it's really difficult to pre-cut your papers for these because these are not, um, always exact measurements on these composition books that's one thing about them but this one's for her um and so if there's something off or something on it i think it will be perfectly fine we will do something to make it you know work so what i like to do and i probably should have went ahead and done this and i didn't <coughs> excuse me is i take um score tape let me put my this down and I like to go right up against that black right there and I will lay me down a strip of that score tape and so I'm going to do this all the way around this journal and I want to get it as close to that edge as I can because I want to make sure that edge is done on there really good yeah now, one thing I think I may have done, let me go and let me make sure I've got some papers cut that are the way I want them cut. I think I do. I think we're good. I think I've already cut them the way I want them. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. And let me put a strip like this. I think I'm just going to do two strips because I'm also going to be using glue. Okay, so let's put it on the back, and I'm sorry, I should have already done this so that you guys wouldn't have to see me doing this, but I thought I had got everything done, and leave it to me to forget something, and I forgot to cut some strips that I'm going to cut for hers as well, but that won't take but just a second. All right, so we're almost done with this part. 
and you don't have to use tape and glue if you don't want to I just um, I feel a little bit more secure when I do and especially with it going to her um, she's eight or nine I can't even remember I've got so many grandbabies so let me cut the strip that I'm wanting to cut and uh, I should have already done this and I apologize and you'll you'll understand what I'm doing and why I'm cutting this in just a minute and I'm just gonna cut this at nine and three quarters and I actually I need two of them um, so this is one two three four five inches so let's just cut it in half. Let's cut it at two and a half. And I think that will be fine. And I'm going to set that out of the way for now. All right. So we have, um, this is our composition book now that we've got the front and back um, done. And so I have cut, um, I normally don't cut these the exact size and I should not have done it this time either but I did hang on guys I'm gonna be right back I just had a brain dump a brainstorm hang on okay so that that wasn't gonna work out so we're um, we're just gonna keep on rolling all right so what I need to do now is I need to pull the tape off but I'm only going to I'm not gonna pull this one off yet so I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to pull the backing off of this tape and my glue may be give, give me a fit in just a minute because when I left to go to church tonight I was not thinking and I left the lid off so we will see how it does put this down in it all right please work for me glue all right, so what I'm gonna do, since I'm not, I don't wanna put anything right here right now, I'm gonna take my glue and just go right through here. And the other thing the glue will do is give me just a little bit of wiggle room and time. All right, and so now what I'm going to do is I am just going to line this up top and bottom as best as I can. And that looks pretty good, actually. I'm a little impressed with myself. Where is my bone folder? I have no idea what I've done with my bone folder, guys. And I literally, like, just had it. So, we're going to adapt. So, I'm just smoothing it down. Alright. And so, this is that strip that I cut. And what I'm going to do now is I will take this strip of tape off. But I'm not going to put the glue on here because I don't know exactly how far over um, this is going to go. So I'm going to put the glue on the actual paper. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. All right, and now I'm going to take and I'm going to line this up right there with that black edge and down I want it lined up with the paper and there we go all right so we have that now this piece here that is left hanging over we're just going to let it hang over and so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut just a little bit off. And I'm going to fold this over. And I will come back and we will do something with that in just a minute. So now I need to do the back and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to pull the one off that's right against the black. And I'm just going to attempt to take this backing off of the score tape without sticking myself to the book. 
which I have been known to do on numerous occasions. One more. There we go. All right, so now let's put some glue down. And again, I'm just gonna work in this little area here for now. And so her back, I am doing this polka dot here. So again, I want to just kind of line it up. And there we go. I need to pull it down just a little bit, maybe, if it will. And if it don't, I am not too stressed over it, and it's not, so that's fine. Now, again, since I have no clue, I have like five bone folders out and I don't know where either one of them are at. All right, so we've got that down. So now I need to get my other strip. And I'm just going to pull the back off of this. And again, I am not going to put the glue down onto the book. I'm going to put it on the paper because I want to make sure that I don't get glue where it doesn't need to be. And I get asked this question a lot. Um, what kind of bottle is this and what kind of glue is that? That is a Sugar Bell icing bottle and that is Fabri-Tac that I have in it. And guys, I don't know if y'all can see that fly that is flying around. Um, I had my door open for a little while today just to let some of the fresh air in. And it let more than fresh air in. It let flies in. But it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Alright, so same thing. I'm going to corner these right here. Just cut some of the corner off. And I can see that I'm uh, over a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the way I've got my camera. So I'm just going to trim this up because it's hanging over the top just a tiny, tiny bit. And so that's all I'm going to do. And then I see a little bit hanging off down here. All right, I'm just trimming that up. And then I'm just going to fold this over, just like that. Did I have any hanging off over here? Yep, I do a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and cut that off as well. And I think we're good there. Okay, so look how cute this is looking. Very girly so far. Now, let me throw some of this stuff away, and I am going to pause you guys real quick because I need to cut um, what I'm going to be putting in here. Um, this is actually going to have a couple of pieces in it, so let me go ahead and cut that. I thought I had cut it, and I didn't. Let me cut that, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And so what I've went ahead and done is I went ahead and put some score tape on the front and the back here. And I have cut uh, two solid pieces of cardstock that I'm going to place in here on hers. And so I am, and the reason I'm doing this is because I really didn't have quite enough of that paper pad to do her little journal. But I thought that paper pad was perfect for her. So, I am just going to um, do it like this, and I think it will turn out just fine. So, I've got the backing off of that score tape, and I'm going to put some glue down. Then I'm just going to take right here at the bottom, I'm going to line it up, maybe. 
Ah, it's trying to stick down on me. There we go. And I do want that little tiny bit of a gap right there because if it goes all the way against that um, spine, it can stop it from um, closing good. And I wanted to do that. You could have put this down and then glued that down, but I really wanted that to show. And it's not gonna show much, but I did want a little bit of it to show. And I will need to trim it some, but that's perfectly fine. And so let's go ahead and do the back the same way. Just peeling off the backing of that score tape. And, well, how did I do that? Almost there. And one more, I think. All right, so now let's put some glue down. And remember, you don't have to do glue and score tape. Um, I just like to do it because I feel like it gives me a little bit more um, control when I'm putting it down, but I don't know that it really does. I think I'm still sticking it down when I shouldn't. So it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. I think it's probably more in my mind than anything. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's take a look and it looks like I do need to trim some. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that little bit. I don't know if I'm even on camera, and I do apologize, guys. All right, so we've got that. Now let's go ahead and glue our flaps down. And like I said, you could have glued these down before, I, you know, or I could have put these down before I put this down, but I just kind of, I don't know, I really kind of wanted that contrast. And like I said, you're not gonna see much of it when I put the other part on. Just like you're really not going to see much at all of the pink. But I like the way it looks and it does make the cover just a little bit more sturdy. And with her being as young as she is, I want this to be as sturdy as it possibly can be. So I'm just putting my glue down now. And then just going to fold this over like that. Okay. Now, what I have cut for the actual inside, and I am going to round these corners. Again, this is not something you have to do. I think it just looks a little cute. And so I'm just rounding the corners. And I'm sorry that I am off screen. Why is this camera so close up? Is that maybe a little better? I don't know. All right, so we've got that rounded now. And see, like I said, you're not going to see much at all of the pink or the um, polka dot. But that's fine. That's how I kind of want it. And so I want this side to show. So I am just, and I'm not going to do score tape on this part. I am just going to glue this down. So I'm just making sure I get my glue all the way around. Get the edges really good. Okay. And then I am just going to kind of center it and then stick it down. Just like that. All right, so now let's go back here and let's do the same thing back here. And again, I need to round the corners. And 
then I am just going to put my glue on it. And this, I, I could use score tape and glue on this, but I really don't need to on this part. I mean, I really don't need to on any of it, but I do. All right, so now we're just going to do the same thing and just line that up, get it as center as we can, and there's that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do to the front part of Lena's is I have made a pocket out of that pink, and this pocket is going to go right there just like that. And so I've already cut it and I've already um, rounded the corners at the top edge of the pocket and then I've cut out a little pull on it. And I cut the pull, I done a little wider of a um, pull because I want her to be able to get her little hands in there and get the stuff out. So there's that pocket. How cute is this looking? And then I have a pocket for the back, same thing. And so I just used some of the paper that I used on the actual cover. So I'm just going around like that. And let's get it lined up and put it down. Okay, so now that we've got that, now we can actually work on dividers. Um, now my journals, I normally put um, three dividers in it, but I did not have enough paper for three in hers. I only have enough for two dividers, so we're just going to go somewhere like right here and this is where the first one's going to go and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a piece of paper here and i've already got it measured and cut and it's probably going to be too long on the edge which is fine because i can trim that off and again you have to be careful with these because um, they're not always you know they may say that they're a certain size but there's, they may be different than what it actually says that it is, simply because these are like machine cut in huge batches, and they're just not always, they're not done right, you know. But it is a cheap notebook, so I'm not stressed over it. We will just have to adapt. And so what I'm go going to do, I want to stay off from the spine about a quarter of an inch, and then I'm just lining that up and then just squishing it down real good. Okay. And so now I need to come back over here. And because, you know, it's too long on the edge. And so I'm just trimming off. I'm going to go ahead and trim it off before I put the other side down. There we go. And so now I'm flipping to this other side and I'm going to put glue on here. I need to put some more glue in my bottle. That is one thing um, with the Sugar Bell bottles. It, they are very easy to squeeze um, as long as you keep them pretty full. They're still easy to squeeze. They're easier to squeeze than a glue bottle even if they're not full. I like to keep them more full than anything because it makes it much easier on me. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep it off of the um, spine by about a quarter of an inch or so. And I didn't, there we go. And just lined it up. Got it in there like that. And just squeeze it on down. And I think I have it up. No, no, there's some flowers. I don't know. It may be upside down. Who knows? I don't. I'm not going to stress over it. 
because these flowers are all going all different ways, so I think it's fine. All right, so again, I'm just trimming off that excess. Now, I could have, you know, attempted to cut it the exact size, but I don't think I could have got it, so we're good like it is. And again, I just went to another page, and I am just, that's, this one's going to be the divider here. So I'm just going to put some glue on this page. Just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to keep it off of that spine by about a quarter of an inch or so. Get it lined up and then squish it on down. Let's see, we're almost done with her little journal. And it's so easy to do. Um, these journals are super easy to do. Um, and they don't cost much at all to make them. And then, especially, you know, with her, with the child, it's good because it's got the line paper in it. So it makes it a little easier for them to actually journal on if they want to actually journal. Um, I did double the pages on hers as well. So because she does like to do art type stuff, she loves to draw and paint. Um, so I've got it to where if she wants to do that, the pages are thick enough now that she can. So I'm just doing this back side, just like I've done the other. And I'm going to keep it off of the spine by about a quarter of an inch or so. Just like that. And then just squeeze it down. Alright, so now I need to trim this. And that has matched up perfectly, and so that is difficult to see where to cut it. But we'll get it. Alright, so there's that. So now what I need to do, because the corners of the book are actually rounded, I want to round um, everything that I just put in there. So I am taking my, whatever this is, corner chomper that's full of all kinds of junk. It's probably not going to chomp very good because it's full. Alright, so let's round this corner just like that and then this one and then I'm going to go to that first divider tab maybe and I'm going to round those corners and then I will go to the second one and round those And then do the same thing to the back. I need to trim that some. I thought I had done that. Just trimming it up because, I mean, it really doesn't, you really can't notice it, but I knew it was there. I'll probably have to get my sanding block and sand that down some, but... I can do that. All right, so there is her little journal. I will put some pockets and stuff on um, her dividers, and I will put some washi tape down. But guys, look how quick and easy this was, and look how adorable that is. Is that not cute? Um, I'll probably, I don't know if I will do any decorations to the front. Um, that may be something that she wants to do. Let me see. We could put a pocket in here. Let's do that. 
Uh, where's my scissors? I'm just going to cut this since it has a line and hope I'm cutting it halfway okay, which I'm probably not, but it'll be fine. And it's a little long, but I think it'll be okay because I can trim it off. All right, so do I want to do it that tall? Yeah, let's, no, you know what, let's cut this in half. And I'm going to trim just a little bit off of this. And then let's cut it down to two and a half inches. And I do want to round the top corners. And do I have a small... No, I'm not going to stress over it. We're just not going to worry about putting a thumb pull in it. And we'll have to cut that um, corner again, but that's perfectly fine. And I am just going to glue this down on the three sides. Okay. And I'm just going to line it up with that side there and glue that down. And I got it lined up at the bottom. And then I think I think I'm going to put one here. So let's go ahead and glue this one down. See, these are really easy to do. Because you see, I mean, we're pretty much done with hers. Um, other than just putting, you know, the embellishments and that kind of stuff in it. Hers is pretty much done. Um, and like I said, I will go through and I'll put some washi there. I will probably go ahead and put the washi around um, her pages as well, just simply because I know that she'll probably enjoy that. Um, but guys, that's it. We're going to, oh, let me trim this. We're going to call this done. I think she will be very excited about this. Because she's, she's Mamaw's little heart. And whatever Mamaw has, she thinks she's got to have it too. So there we go, guys. There is the altered composition book notebook for one of my granddaughters. Um, like I said, I will do some washi tape around... Um, and I'll show you, I got some washi tape right here. I'll just show you what I do. Um, I just take the washi tape like this and I just kind of eyeball it and I get it about halfway on the edge of that. Then I will just flip it over and then I fold the washi tape over. And that is the extent of it. And then I'll just alternate and do different colored washi tapes um, throughout the whole book. But um, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.